Now the fire task number five, we call a stranger in the network. Basically what we have here in terms of scenario is that there is a script in the attacker machine and this script, what it's doing is pinging the, uh, the target machine. Yeah, so it's ping, it's constantly pinging the target machine uh, every, you know, three, three seconds or something like that. And what we need to do is we are in the attacker machine. We just need to intercept the traffic, right? So we need to capture all this traffic and then later we have to analyze it. Going over the instructions, it says that whenever we, we curl the, um, the target, it's returning a header called X password. So there is an HTTP header called X password that contains a some sort of secret there, which shouldn't be in a header, but for this case, it's in a header, which is not encrypted. And we just need to try to in, you know intercept this traffic, capture this traffic, analyze it, and try to find out the password. There is even some uh, pro tips here. Let's just go over it. So basically, we need to find out which interfaces are available in the machine. So we can use I have config for that. So if I run I have config, so there are basically two, the loopback, and uh, it's zero. So that's the one that I'm going to be listening on because I know that this script is not you know calling the the the, the instance itself. It's actually calling another instance. So it's going through this interface. Then in terms of capturing the, tra the traffic, we're going to be using a tool called TCP dump. So we're going to be running TCP dump in that interface for a couple of seconds and waiting for it to capture all the traffic for us. And then once we have everything captured in a file, we're going to be using a tool called T Shark, which is the command line version of Wireshark. All right, so usually at Wireshark, you've got this interface that you can analyze everything. And so in Catalan Linux, you've got T Shark. Okay, and then we're going to be using T-Shark to, uh, to analyze the traffic. The solution, once you know it, it's very simple as well. So for TCP dump, I need to be sudo, so you can listen on, listen on the interface. sudo TCP dump. And then first, I need to specify the interface that I'm going to be listening on. So dash I with zero. And after that, I need to specify the file that I'm going to be writing the, you know, all the captured traffic to. So dash W, and then I'm going to specify the file. The file can be anything, but the extension for, for T Shark needs to be PCAP. Yeah, so that's the extension of my, my file. When I run this, it says that it's listening on ETH0. So I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds. I think that should be enough. So I'm going to kill it now. All right. If I do LS, I can see PCAP. If I get this thing, you know, it's going to be a bunch of things uh, which I'm not able to analyze like this. We need a, na a network analyzer. And then for that, I'm going to use T Shark. And for T Shark, we have a couple of options. So if I do T Shark and then I specify the file, so I want to read from 80 PCAP, what we get. So these are, so this is a traffic. Yeah, this is a traffic and it, it doesn't really tell us much. It's just told us that. It get it, it issued a get request to this endpoint for the for the Node.js API running a target server, and it got back a response. There's a bunch of TCP stuff here, but it doesn't actually tell us anything. It doesn't tell us about the headers, nothing. If I want to filter this, so you see that we have TCP, HTTP. Sometimes you even see some SSH. I don't think we have SSH. Oh yeah, we have SSH right here at the top. So what I can do is I can do dash uppercase Y. So this is to filter. I'm going to filter by HTTP. Once I run that, I'm only going to get back HTTP traffic. We, I waited, I think I waited like five seconds or so, or, or 10 seconds, I don't, I don't know. And we got three times. So the, the script ran three times, these ones. Again, if I want to know more information, there is an option. Let me just actually bring annual for T shark and I'm gonna look for dash X and here, dash X right here. So that's gonna cause T shark to print a X and a ask dump of the packet data after printing the summary and details. Yeah. So if you want to see, you know, more information in X and ASCII format, then you use dash X at the end. So if I quit this and then I run same command, but then dash X at the end. That's going to return something completely different for us. 
And basically what we have is on the left hand side, we did th three requests. So that's why we have three times. Let me go back all the way to the top. The first portion, which is this, that's sending the request. The second portion, which is this, is actually receiving back the response. On the left hand side, we have the X decimal. On the right hand side, we've got asking. We're not interested in the, in the request. We're, we're interested in the response, which is this one. And if we take a look at it very, very carefully, we can see it, it, this X powered by Express. So we know that this is an Express uh, server running. So no JS, no JS API. And then after that, we have X password, which is exactly the header that we're looking for. And here we have our little secret, let's, let's call it, which is this is the password. So basically that's what we're looking for. Yeah. And to summarize what we did in this, in this task, we use TCP dump to, to listen to the interface. So every time the script running on this, on this attacker machine, send a request to the target, we capture that. It also captured the response from, from the target. And then after that, we use T shark to analyze it. I think you can use T oh, I definitely can use T shark to, to capture everything, but I just wanted to use different tools so you can learn the purpose of different tools. So TCP dump to capture and then T shark to analyze the traffic later. All right. That's the answer. This is the password. Let's see what we need to do. That's actually the, the last, the last one. So the master character of this task is the seventh character of the password. So the password is echo this is the password and if i do a cut dash c god what's the name seventh character yep so number or letter t uppercase t that's the the last character of of task number five